I'm Mrs. C and this is Math to Find. In this video, I will show you how to subtract integers using integer counters. Let's look at this expression of positive 15 minus negative 4. We are going to go ahead and use the integer counters to solve this problem. Positive 15 is the first term, so we'll place 15 positive counters below. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15 positive counters. Now we'll look at the minus negative 4. The subtraction sign here means to remove, and the negative 4 means that we need to remove 4 negative counters. But as you can see, we only have positive counters. So we will need to use 4 zero pairs in order to have negative counters to remove. Remember, a zero pair is one positive counter paired with one negative counter. Here is the first zero pair, so I need three more zero pairs. With these additional zero pairs, now I have four negative counters that I can remove. So let's remove them. And all we need to do now is count the number of counters left on the screen. There are 19 positive counters. So the difference or the answer to this subtraction problem is positive 19. If we had used additive inverse instead, it would have looked like this. We would keep the positive 15, then change the subtraction to addition, and then use the inverse or opposite of negative 4, which is positive 4. And positive 15 plus positive 4 is positive 19. If you need more explanation or practice using the additive inverse, check out my video on subtracting integers using the additive inverse. I have pro provided a link in the description below. Now let's look at negative 5 minus a positive 7. The first term of negative 5 means that we will place 5 negative counters first. Then we'll look at the minus positive 7. Again, the minus means to remove and the positive 7 means to remove 7 positive counters. But like the last problem, we don't have any positive counters to remove. So again, we'll need to use 7 zero pairs so that we will have positive counters to remove. So let's place those 7 zero pairs. And then we need to remove this group of seven positive counters. After they are gone, you just count the number of counters left on the screen and you see 12 negative counters. So the answer is negative 12. If we use the additive inverse method, we would keep the negative 5, change the subtraction to addition, and then use the inverse or opposite of positive 7 to negative 7. Now we have negative 5 plus negative 7, which is negative 12. Now we have negative 12 minus another negative number, negative 10. First we'll place 12 negative counters on the screen. Then we'll look at the minus negative 10. This minus negative 10 means that we need to remove 10 negative counters. This time we do have negative counters to remove, so we will not need to use any zero pairs. So let's remove those 10 negative counters. And then after they are gone, we just count how many counters remain. And we have two red counters left. So the answer is negative two. Now let's use the additive inverse. We'll keep the negative 12, change the subtraction to addition, and then use the inverse of negative 10, which is positive 10. And negative 12 plus positive 10 is negative two. I hope that this video helped you better understand how to use integer counters to subtract integers with different signs. You can check out more of my math videos at Math to Find. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.